warning. Colostrum supplements. Are colostrum supplements helpful or harmful? I report, you decide. Have you heard the buzz all about the dazzling benefits of colostrum supplements? Well, it's everywhere on TikTok. It's everywhere on the internet. It's everywhere on commercials. But before you pluck down your good hard-earned money on one of these, be it a powder, a pill, or whatever, what the heck are you buying? Colostrum is sometimes called liquid gold. It's the first milk that mammals produce right after you give birth and before your regular breast milk comes in. It happens in both animals and humans. Now, for years, we were convinced that the reason it existed is that the poor baby was totally defenseless against the various bacteria and viruses and whatever that it was going to be exposed to after coming out of this perfectly sterile environment without an immune system. And it is true that colostrum does contain quite a few antibodies, IgG antibodies, IgM antibodies from the mother against various infective agents. So far, so good. It also has a few interesting compounds like beta-glucans, which feed friendly bacteria, and lactoferrin, which also supports the immune system. So far, so good. But it also has a really mischievous sugar molecule called Nu5GC. Now, you've heard me talk about Nu5GC a lot. We, moms, make Nu5AC in our breast milk. Cows, sheep, goats make Nu5GC in their breast milk. Nu5GC is a foreign compound to us. In fact, experiments in humans show that if I give healthy volunteers Nu5GC to eat or drink in the form of milk, that they will instantaneously make antibodies to Nu5GC. It's that foreign and nasty a substance. So what? Well, it turns out that Nu5GC can be incorporated into the wall of your gut, into the wall of your blood vessels, into your blood-brain barrier, into your joints, and you will attack it as a foreign compound. Doesn't sound like a very good idea, does it? Okay, so why then think that colostrum is really great for you. The exciting news that you probably read about in my new book, Gut Check, is guess what? Your baby has a wonderful active immune system that's fully ready and fully primed by the time the baby pops out. We now know that the placenta has its own microbiome. We now know that the amniotic fluid has its own microbiome and that the immune system of the baby is fully revved up and ready, having been trained by the placental microbiome and the amniotic fluid microbiome about what's good and what's bad. So we don't have to worry about poor mom giving us a helping hand with more immunoglobulins. That, quite frankly, is bunk. Number two, let me assure you, you are not a baby cow or a baby goat or a baby sheep. You are not a calf or a lamb. The microbiome of a cow or a sheep or a goat is completely and totally different than your microbiome. And the idea that you should have a liquid from a cow or a sheep or a goat 
to educate your microbiome or to protect you against what a baby cow or a baby sheep or a baby goat might need protection from is also absolutely bunk. Finally, I was a consultant to one of the major companies in this country that controls the market for colostrum. And they uh, developed a very exciting formula based on colostrum and also on with inoculated eggs for the purpose of controlling infectious diarrhea in third world countries. Whether you know it or not, one of the leading causes of death in third world countries is diarrhea from infectious agents that are in the water supply. In fact, I and Gundry MD are contributors to an organization called Charity Water, which brings clean water to millions of people around the world. But diarrhea kills kids, kills adults. This company developed a great product called Dia Rescue. Now, I have no affiliation with them whatsoever. When I'm working in the field with Charity Water, I carry Dia Rescue to Africa, to India, because quite frankly, diarrhea is a real problem. Infectious issues are a real problem, and Dia Rescue works. How does it work? It binds the bad bacteria in the gut and basically knocks them out. You're not absorbing immunoglobulins from this compound to help you fight these infectious agents. It's binding them, and you basically stop them from misbehaving. So please, I know a whole lot about colostrum. And the idea that you are going to get any benefit from colostrum is not true. And number two, knowing what I and others know about the downsides of swallowing new 5GC, which is in the colostrum of cows, sheep, and goats, is really a dumb idea if you want to improve your health. That's it. Colostrum, put it down. If you want to stop diarrhea when you're traveling in Africa or Mexico, take some Dia Rescue. Thanks so much for watching, but don't go anywhere. This next one is sure to surprise you. So unless you are actively making muscle, you can eat all the protein you want, and it's not going to make more muscle.